What's going on? Do you want to learn how to play How Does It Feel by D'Angelo? Hi, my name is Carrie Two Smooth. If you're brand new to this channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and then click the bell so you can be notified every time that we're dropping a new video. I would hate for you to miss out. As a rule of thumb, I tell everybody that's watching my videos, watch it all the way through, make some mental notes or write it down on paper and then go back and review this video because there's a lot of tidbits that I drop in there that I don't want you to miss, all right? So this is one of my highly requested videos. I get this comment almost all of the time. Yo, can you play this? Can you play this? Can you play this? Can you show us how to play? How does it feel? So all I'm gonna do today is just give you a couple tidbits and ideas in order how to play How Does It Feel. It's all about the word feel. You gotta know that word feel. So there's a, a way that you've probably heard a lot of different people playing and you're trying to figure out like what's the approach. You don't wanna clog the space. The space is how it helps it breathe. So this song is in the key of D major. Every time that I'm playing a song, I always wanna find out what the major key is so that way I can use my formula that way it makes sense no matter what key that I play in. All right, so that first one, we're hitting that D, right? You can hit it. I, mean, I like to do everything palm muted, so I get that kind of like mute sound. That pick up. I'm on that B string. I'm doing an upstroke because I want to play like I'm being percussive right along the snare. So dun, dun, dun. I want to get that same kind of percussive nature. So I'm playing that G minor. double stop movement so if I was thinking about it from the minor pentatonic aspect I would I'm playing the six which would be that B right so I'm starting on that E and I'm playing two strings at the same time so I'm letting that be like my percussiveness of nature the thing about it is this song has got so much space in it you can find yourself being a little too soulful and, and overplaying the song and I've had that um, before in the past years past years ago I was trying to overplay the song because I'm trying to show everybody my chops you get, in this song right here because of the space you got to watch for that so the way you're not clogging up the space or you're allowing the singer whoever's singing this song to really kind of vibe out in the song this song is all about the singer it's not really about you you're just kind of helping um, support what the singer is doing. So remember that first lick? That pop is really important. Now when we're doing this pickup, we don't have to do that A minor in it. So when, that's taking the space of that A minor. So we go back to that G. the second part of it. And what I'm doing right there, it's not necessarily right there, but these are some ideas in that space. You could do that when you're bouncing off of that E minor. different things that you can do but you have to be disciplined enough to try not to overplay it so let's play along with the track let's hear exactly
So before we get too far into the song, I want to show you a couple of things that I was doing. So let's the first part. <laughs> that space. Now I'm going to do this kind of like a walk down, like a, like if you're thinking about, if you've ever heard this song, like the Stairway to Heaven. So it's just like a chromatic walk down. Back to that D, we're going to come back down. So we're going to go from that B flat. Tremelo bar, you that's where you would definitely want to dive. right here if you could go ahead and drop a comment and let me know if you like D'Angelo if you like how does it feel if you understand you know the nuances of creating spaces if you've ever heard of this song before I definitely want to get your feedback um, about that also too if you love the stuff that I'm doing right here but you want to do an even deeper dive I encourage you to go to my website carriescamp.com that is k-e-r-r-y-s-k-a-m-p.com where we're gonna really show you how to unlock this fretboard and really just do a deep dive so you can play without any restrictions. So let's get back to this lesson. The biggest thing when you're playing this song, how does it feel, is understanding the space. Don't clog up the space, give it space to breathe. That's the biggest thing. So what I wanted to do was just show you a couple of different ideas of how to play the song. Give it that space, let the bass player do a lot of the movements and you're just kind of accenting, like in between there. like. creating the space you're just letting that soulfulness from the bass player really do that you as a guitar player are just adding the colors and the texture you're not staying in the way so this is not about you trying to showcase all of your you know cool stuff that you got that's not all about that I know you've heard probably seen videos of guys is really trying to get off that's not what it's about this space this song is about space so it's really mindful that you want to be really mindful about creating that space, understanding that space. That's what's going to define this song. So whenever you're playing this song, be disciplined enough to play the spaces, play the parts, but play the spaces. Let, let that space, let it breathe. It's just as important as you trying to play these chords to showcase what you're doing. That, that soulfulness, that really just playing on the field, that's really what's going to make people be like, oh man, they got it. That's what's really going to be the major key to understanding how to play the song. How does it feel? If you love the stuff that we're teaching, like I said, if you're brand new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe, click the bell so you're always notified every time we're dropping a new video. 